Hey ballers, I wanted to wait for a bright, sunny, beautiful day to do this unboxing, but uh, my buddy uh, Cole Jacoposi and uh, his partner in crime, Tyler Yeager, are skiing today, so I gotta get this thing out of the box, get some bindings on it, and check it out. So what this is, is the Syndicate Omni from HO, and um, I've never seen one, like, you know, there's some buzz on the forum. So to say that my expectations are undefined on this gear are pretty clear. I mean, definitely, let me say that again. I have very undefined expectations of this ski. I know people are happy about it, but I'm not really sure what it's going to look like when I pull it out of the box. So let's check this thing out. So what I do know is, uh, this is, uh, this ski is in the spec of a syndicate ski, meaning it is a PVC core and an all carbon construction. Uh, they sent me a 67. You know, I, I think I've said this before in previous videos, uh, there's somebody on staff at HO that does what they call industrial design, and I think their skis the last couple of years have been uh, visually very appealing. And I think this is, again, too, I really like uh, the shape in this tip, this square. Let me kind of uh, point at the camera there. If that helps, probably doesn't. But it's shiny, it's pretty, and... Um, on the bottom, they've got this texture, and you know, I keep meaning to ask Dave Winger at HL about this. On this texture, I wonder if this was somewhat inspired by the, uh, the Dennis Connor Stars and Stripes America's Cup boat from like 1990. Google it, Dennis Connor Stars and Stripes. Uh, that, uh, it's a little bit off topic. But there's definitely something going on with this texture on the bottom of all the HOs. It's been, I don't know, I think since A2, and um, it's super interesting. I, it definitely does something. HO says it's a speed base, and I'm sure it does have something to do with that, but there's something else going on there. I think it's interesting. So, um, unlike uh, a Syndicate Pro, let's say, this is a little bit of a wider tail ski, so I would expect this thing to be uh, pretty fast, not a lot of effort to ski on. Um, although it does have this clean edge technology tail, which definitely does change the attitude of the ski, um, especially uh, coming into your apex. So, um, lots of shape in here, interesting stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go throw my syndicate hard shell on this. I'm gonna ski on it, hopefully within the hour, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So ballers, if you're interested in a uh, in a syndicate Omni, give uh, Bill at Performance Ski and Surf a try. Um, based on based on what people have said on the forum already, I I'm, I'm sure this is a great ski. I'm sure this is a good product. Uh, it'd be interesting to see where. Where it shines best that's kind of my it's kind of what i'm looking forward to defining for myself is do i think this ski uh best fits 22 28 off 32 off uh, where i'm going to find the limit on it uh, i'm sure you can ski it well past that but the question is is who what consumer what what skiing level is going to benefit from the most from this ski and i think you know, that's what most of the ski companies are making somewhat mid-range skis are doing, is they're making a ski that's best for the guy trying to run 41 off, and a ski that's best for the guy that's running 22 or 28 off, or maybe they're just trying to learn to run the course. So um, I will um, try to wrap my head around that, and so when I write the review, that'll be part of it. And um, it's going to be fun. I really enjoy uh, riding these kinds of skis, uh, especially this time of year. So I'll be in touch. Thank you, ballers.